Dallas dog advocates say the city is turning a blind eye to dog fighting, putting dozens of dogs and communities in danger. I team reporter Brian Yu joins us live now in studio. And Brian, these advocates reached out to you with what they're saying is evidence that is being ignored. Yeah, that's right, Ken. They showed us pictures and videos of pit bulls chained up in backyards at properties that we have confirmed have been connected in the past to dog fighting. But when they showed this evidence to Dallas authorities, they say nothing was done. Hey, how are you? Before we even made it to the front door, we were looking for Paul Lacey. Well, what? We were told there was nothing to talk about. We heard about things about dog fighting. Man, no dog fight. Get off him over with this. We were wanting to talk with this man, Paul Allen Lacey, to get his side of the story. Lacey pleaded guilty this month to possession of dog fighting paraphernalia. According to his arrest warrant during a narcotics investigation in 2017, detectives discovered 18 pit bull type dogs tethered on heavy tow chains at Lacey's house. Multiple dogs had severe scarring. Investigators also found dog fighting paraphernalia, including a treadmill and steroids. When investigators seized the dogs, according to court records, Lacey denied ownership of most of the dogs and said he doesn't fight dogs anymore. Lacey was sentenced to 12 months probation. A judge ordered him to have no contact with animals. Yes, by court order, he's not allowed to have dogs, but he hasn't been allowed to have dogs since 2017, and he's actively moving and having dogs. Stephanie Kunkel Tempko is the state director for Animal Wellness Action. She says despite Lacey's court order, her advocates have continued to spot pit bulls chained up with weighted collars at Lacey's properties. <laughs> This is one of the videos they took. Kunkel Timko says since September, they've spotted 10 different dogs on multiple occasions that have allegedly been moved back and forth between properties. All the properties are either owned by Lacey or owned by an LLC that Lacey set up after his arrest. If he's moving dogs and he's moving dogs among these properties, our fear is that he's still fighting, breeding, or training. You reported this to police? We did. And what happened? Uh, well, not much. The CBS 11 I team also spotted three dogs at one of Lacey's homes. The Dallas DA's office told the I team detectives did follow up, but concluded there was not sufficient evidence to tie the dogs in question to Lacey. Now, we have left several messages with Lacey's attorney over the past couple weeks and are still waiting to hear back. Now, along with pleading guilty to possession of dogfighting paraphernalia, as a part of that same investigation, Lacey also pleaded guilty to possession of cocaine with intent to deliver. For that charge, he was given a four-year deferred sentence, meaning as long as he stays out of trouble, he will not have to serve any jail time for either charge. All right, Brian, thank you very much uh, for that inside look. We appreciate that.